Hello, it's Steve here again from the Studio One Soapbox and today I'm going to take a look at VST instruments, uh, virtual instruments specifically in Studio One's case, Presence XT. Now here we have Presence XT on the screen. Uh, it does look extremely complicated but I can assure you it's quite easy to use. Um, realistically, and for most of us who aren't keyboard players like myself, I play guitar and we'll choose our sounds and Presence XT comes with lots of various sounds keyboards, guitars, we even have a little bit of brass uh, and you can obviously load in various other sounds from third-party manufacturers um, first up I have a little bit of piano recorded earlier and let's hear what it sounds like Down here we have a modulation section, and if we turn on the chorus, we become super tramp all of a sudden. A little bit of flanger and phaser. Uh, also, here we have delay and we have reverb. At the minute, only the reverb is on, and you can basically mess around with the sound. You have LFOs which are low frequency modulation uh, basically this is just a signal that's below 20 hertz usually and people use it to create rhythmic pulses or sweeps uh, you would hear it quite a lot in EDM music um, that's basically about it that's about as much as you really need to get into it just simply choose your sound if we click that off as you can see I have two other virtual instruments loaded in here. Um, with Presence XT and other virtual instruments, if you can purchase quite a small, inexpensive uh, MIDI controller, such as I have, I have a little 25 key uh, keyboard, and you can use that then to control your virtual instruments. This gives you a wide variety of sounds because you can really do anything that you hope or wish to do. Um, there's a little bit of piano. Um, there is a lot of latency. Um, I have to turn the things up uh, because you're trying to record this and S1's running and I'm on a quite a low spec computer so I apologize for that. Um, that's basically about it. That, um, as you can see, I have addictive drums. A very popular uh, drum machine and if I solo that let's hear what the drums are doing just laying down a basic beat um, the legs of addicted drums comes with its own um, MIDI samples which we can select choose change do all sorts of various things you know, there's lots of other things on the internet about addictive drums specifically. And if you need to know anything, you can look it up there, you know. There's no need for me to get in depth today. Um, one thing I will say, uh, for instance, with addictive drums, um, as you can see down below, we have only a single, let's change the color of that just for, um, we only have a single channel. So all the drums, as you can see, are coming through the channel. Now, for instance, we always have every conceivable mic on a drum kit in the real world. And how would you achieve that here? How could you work on the kick drum specifically or the snare drum? Well, if we click this little symbol, Addictive Drums opens up. And if you see here, we have a little arrow called Outputs. There's all our different outputs. And as we click them, you can see them. Um, you can see them coming in below. Uh, let's kick them up. There you go. There's our toms, our overheads, our room, and our drum bus. Now with uh, addictive drums, you need to click the little arrows here, which tell it you're doing multiple outs. And so each thing will show up then on its own channel. So let's see, uh, X that off, play again, 
there you can see you can hi hat you can simply rename these to get the addictive drums hi hat now we can add inserts of any kind and we can work on each one specifically and create our own drum sound excellent um, and here we have expand to anyone that has worked with Pro Tools will know this inside out it's a great synth and um, very versatile comes with loads of different sounds uh, in this case if I just solo that we have a little ensemble nice strings very ambient nice going with uh, the piano As you can see, there is loads of sounds to choose from. Absolutely loads of sounds. Highly recommended. Um, I used to use Pro Tools a lot before I wised up, switched over to Studio One, and uh, but I did miss Expand. I used to use it quite a lot. Um, there we go. And so as you can see, uh, up above, uh, I'll mute them. I have created a little piano track with presence. I have created my drums with a nice Ludwig drum kit and I've added some keyboards, nice strings with expand. Now if you add all those things together you can end up with a little tune out of nowhere. Sorry about the sound quality. Um, I'm on a very low spec machine and uh, trying to record this and play back virtual instruments gives your CPU and So here you have it. Uh, that's Presence XT, Addictive Drums, Expand 2 and all being used all together in Studio One. The sky's the limit when it comes to virtual instruments. Uh, really only thing holding you back is your own creativity. And once you get the grips with these, and like I say, if you throw in a small MIDI controller, you know, the sky's the limit. You, you can just basically create whatever you need to. Um, you don't even need to play any other instruments, just use a MIDI controller. You can put your bass, your guitars, your keyboards, your piano, have an orchestra backing it up. It's just endless. You can even use it for playing drum patterns, um, adding in drum loops or maybe a couple of fill-ins, just to give it that sort of human a touch. And basically that's it. So thank you for watching and happy mixing. And we'll catch you again in the next video. Thank you.